Today I'm going to show you guys a really simple way to use the new parallax effects that are built into Adobe Muse CC, the latest version that just came out on June 18th. I'm going to show you guys how to just slow down the scrolling of your browser background to give a three-dimensional look that's really just not achieved by a scrolling background nor a still background. So I've got some text here and if I preview this text, it's just regular old text that scrolls up and down. Kind of a big font, nice and readable. Not that the uh, content is readable, just some placeholder text here. I'm going to click on Browser Fill in my toolbar at the top. And I'm going to go to Image, click on the little folder, and find an image to fill with my browser background. I've got an image of some uh, car wheels that I'm going to put in there, a nice dark image that will make the white text very readable. I'm going to open that up. And if I preview this as is, the text and the image scroll together as if they're in the same layer of space, like they're glued together. Now what I'm going to do to make it a bit more three-dimensional, I'm going to click back onto Browser Fill, and I'm going to go to the new Scroll tab, and turn on Scroll Motion. Now Scroll Motion works through these very, very simple numbers here. Um, and another thing I want to mention is on the Fill tab, the fitting must be tile to be able to set the scroll. So if it doesn't seem to let you turn on the scroll speed, or scroll motion rather, uh, that's most likely because your fitting is not set to tile. So make sure that's on tile. I'm going to go back to scroll. And a scroll speed of 1 is a regular scroll speed. So at a scroll speed of 1, it's going to look the same as it does right now. It's going to scroll with the text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be less than 1. I'm going to do 0.7. Not quite half, but definitely less than one. I'm going to click this away and preview it in the browser. I'm doing the shortcut Shift-Command-E for that. And now when I scroll, the text kind of slips and slides above the background. That makes it look a bit three-dimensional. The text is now scrolling faster. Now with this whole parallax effect thing, uh, be my guest to Google parallax and look at where the term comes from. It has a lot to do with astronomy and measuring how far away things are. The reality is if something's closer to you and you move, the closer thing moves faster than what's behind it further away. The further away something gets, the slower it seems to move. Just think about the moon going by in the sky really slowly, the mountains going by slowly, but all the bushes and light poles on the side of the road whizzing by really quickly as you drive by in your car at 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. So this is a pretty neat effect, and the effect is much more engaging, much more three-dimensional, and it also improves the readability of the text, because the text is going to move from a position that may kind of interfere with the background into a position that's totally readable. So the viewer or reader will love it. Stay tuned, I got more coming at you.